Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day. On today's episode, we'll look at profiles from ladies from 40 to 53 years old. So this bracket of women, and we, which we've seen over and over again on the channel, uh, they have now gotten to their 40s and 50s and their requirements have gotten more with men, not less. They don't understand the sexual market. They don't understand their SMV has drastically reduced and they can't have everything they could have had when they were in their 20s. So often, not only do they want a very attractive guy, and they don't really know what average guys even look like, and we'll, we'll show that in a second, but now that he has to be also successful and you know take them around the world, and you see all these profiles talking about traveling, and then they, a lot of them focus on religion, saying it has to be the same religion as them. Like, so I've showed this chart a bunch of times. We've got a lot of new subscribers. I want to thank everyone, by the way, uh, for joining. If you joined the channel yesterday or in the last few days, I really want to thank you so much for joining. And uh, you know we're over 700 uh, followers now. Fantastic. Anyway. So uh, this is a chart that I've showed many times. It's women, not men, appear to have unrealistic standards for the average number of the opposite sex. Now look at this chart. Look, at, look how men swipe. We swipe very fairly. So, or uh, sorry, we've, we've seen women who are very attractive very fairly. So it's just almost a perfect bell curve. Some women are not very attractive. Some women are very attractive. We're fair. Look at women though. They think half of men are below average. Like only the top 20%, we've talked about that, only the top 20% of men are getting bedroom fun right now. And they think less than 1% of men are, are very, very attractive. We've seen all the charts before. This is how women think. And this is what's keeping them single. They think they're settling on anyone they don't find super hot. If he's not Chad with a lot of money, they think they're settling. And it's just so unrealistic, especially when they're average looking women. And that's what's going on around the dating apps. They just get their head full of, I can bag that, super hot guy that maybe, you know, maybe Chad came over and smashed and they think that, oh, I can back that guy. Well, you can't, ma'am. And they're just ridiculous right now. All right, we're all up to speed. Um, you know, I've certainly watched my previous episodes as well for other, you know, informative tips about this, but uh, let's get into the profiles. So in Dating Delusions, we always start with the great profile. This is the great profile today. And she is 52. Now she has kept herself in amazing shape, gentlemen. She looks fantastic. She, if you even saw her eyes, she has no crow's feet. I mean, this woman looks like she's in her thirties, uh, does not look her age. And so she's got a couple requirements here. And so, you know, but that, I think that's kind of fair when you've kept yourself up and you're what men want. She can have standards. She's five nine. she's quite tall. She says about me, travel for work and for fun as well. Now she is a flight attendant. So, I, you know, we meme traveling a lot because so many women want men to take them around the world and they, they talk about it all the time. But since she is a flight attendant, she probably has tons of free miles. That makes sense. In addition to have my own business, love the beach, staying fit, skiing and playing tennis. Now, she didn't have to put staying fit. You can just tell she's fit by how you know attractive she is still. I'm tall and wear heels, just saying. Now, here's what I liked about this. She just said I'm tall and wear heels, but didn't say you have to be six foot tall. Now, she might want that, but again, ladies, it's not. It's fine to have requirements. You don't have to list them all and you're about me though. You can just put it, keep in your head and go, I didn't like that guy and just swipe accordingly on him. She continues. Please have your life together and know what you want. That's fair, ma'am. I mean, I get it. She is in her 50s, so you know, she I probably understands her time is limited. Her SMV. Now, again, she's kept herself up so well, her SMV is still pretty high, I'm gonna guess. I'm vaccinated and I want don't want kids and no one with young children. But again, she said she's vaccinated, but she's not going, you have to be vaccinated. She kept it nice and fun and didn't get so, you know, preachy with us. She continues. Again, beautiful woman. She is, I mean, just, this is a little bit grainy, but she says, perfect first date, us laughing the whole time. Man, that's so nice. What a nice sentiment, ma'am. You come at men without vitriol and anger. She, now, let me be clear too. Even these other women we're gonna see today get still get tons of swipes, but they, they that one's good enough. And that's the problem. They all think they're entitled Chad with a lot of money. She continues. I mean, this woman does not, I cannot believe she's 52, to be honest, boys. I, I really cannot believe it. She says, we'll get along if you don't contribute to making stupid people famous. Ma'am, I love that. Love it. That's a great sentiment as well. And again, she's kept in amazing shape. She's got a great smile. I don't know what's, you know, sure, her standards might be really high. That could be what's keeping her single. She might've just, who knows? She maybe just got single. That's why she's on the app. But ma'am, you're going to get a round of applause anyway. She's doing it right, gentlemen. That's all I can say. You know, we can't, we don't know what's happened in her past, but uh, now let's get into the nonsense. So she's 52 and a registered nurse and says about me, me, adventurous, confident, hilarious, dry, sharp wit, smart, charming, kind, 95% shit together, work in progress, active, stable, lover of deep convos, challenges to my POV and sapio, dummy. <laughs> Thank you.
Now, if you knew the channel, you're like, well, why is he memeing this? Because, ma'am, how could we possibly prove any of this? See, the other lady just said, I'm tall, which she actually is tall, and a couple things says she likes to travel, and you know, because she's a flight attendant. But this person, ma'am, how do we know you're confident or hilarious? Why don't you make a joke then? Like the other girl made an actual joke. The other lady made a nice joke. Just make the joke then be witty. Okay, she continues. You, emotionally available, evolved, spontaneous, funny, thoughtful, stable, driven, independent, not clingy, knows the importance of time well spent, and open minded. You serious? Ma'am, you're 52. You don't get all of your requirements anymore. You're not gonna get it all. And what does evolved mean? That sounds like man shaming, to be honest, ma'am. You're like, oh, has to be on my level. And, and of course, gentlemen, the thing is too, that's the other, these ladies will, will never date someone that doesn't make as much money as them now. And that's what keeps a lot of them single because they're just like, he's not on my level. And of course they only swipe on Chad and then they get mad because that guy doesn't commit to them. And just look at this list till at 52, ma'am. It's the time for pickiness is over. She continues, looking for actual dating. See what happens. Must have Inferno-like chemistry and a solid connection. If you know, you know, and ma'am, I have this for you. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> ma'am, you're not gonna get all the damn tingles at 52. It's just not gonna happen anymore. See, that other lady, for example, gentlemen, and I've said this a bunch of times, if women want such intense chemistry, then they have to be what men want. The first woman is gorgeous still. A, a guy even her age, a guy younger than her, would see her across the room and go, that's my girl. She's very beautiful. Look at this lady's outfit. She's not feminine. She's not super fit. And then she still wants a guy that does all this crap for and all the chemistry. The best relationships, and we've talked about this before on the channel as well. There's been, and I've shown this study several times, Studies have shown that the relationships actually work better when the man is less attractive than the woman, not more attractive, because then the woman gets super crazy about being fit and it's super gets really jealous and all these things. The, when the guy's less attractive, he sees her as a prize. Ma'am, if you want a guy to wifey you, you're gonna have to probably date, because she's maybe a five, she's average, four. It's gotta be less attractive, of course. You don't think that guy's hot, so you don't swipe at him. Ma'am, it's just not gonna happen for you. Sorry, continue. So she's 44 and it's about me. When a man keeps beating me to the draw mentally, he begins to get alluring. Okay, ma'am, no smokers. Now she's gonna list a bunch of checks and cross throughs. I hope you're ready. Boring, no, douchebags, broke, cocky, and alcoholics. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care. You see the ego boy, ma'am, you're 44. You're not gonna get all of your damn plus. What is this broke thing? That's on you. If you keep dating guys that are broke, that's you could choose in the wrong guys. Also, alcoholics, if the guy was an alcoholic, he's not gonna read your stupid profile and go, oh my God, she doesn't like alcoholics. I just won't swipe on her. It's just so ridiculous. And also, douchebags, that tells us you keep matching with Chad because that's the only guys you call douchebags and he doesn't commit to you and that's why you're angry. Now she's gonna list the things she likes. Okay, good. Social drinker, motivated, healthy lifestyle, family oriented, street smart, beach, Charming. Ma'am, beach is, what is the hell do you mean by this? <laughs> what? <laughs> How is beach a personality trait? What does this even mean? <laughs> it's so Again, women just get these ridiculous requirements in their head. The guy doesn't live up to him. She continues. She then says, swipe right if you work out often, but also have brains. I would pick brains over muscles. <laughs> Ma'am, you want it all. You can see she's got her shopping bag, so you know it's this. One million dollars. <throat> well, she still thinks she's gonna get all her requirements even though she's here. Into the danger zone. And she's gonna get a guy who's highly, she's highly attracted to, who's got money. She just throws it out here and she's just swiping on Chad. And that's all these ladies keep swiping on only the hottest dudes and then think that they're gonna commit to them. It's never gonna happen, all you ladies. You're competing against all the other women for these women. You're competing against women 20 years younger than you and you can't compete, especially with your ridiculous requirements and this the muscles and all this crap. Just ridiculous, continue. So she's 48 and says about me, affectionate, sweet, and young at heart. Ma'am, how do we know this? <laughs> she continues, huge Dizzy fan. Yep, another woman who's perpetually 15. <laughs> then says, enjoy dining out, movies, live music, and travel. Ma'am, we know what that means. 
One million dollars. <throat> well, they're still dreaming of a rich guy to sweep them off their feet. She continues, beach, mountains, not just hiking, laugh out loud, have bad knees. Okay, ma'am, working on my health though. And let's pause here for one second. Women do this all the time. They want a man who's fully formed, who's made it, okay? But they want us to wait while they get into shape and all this crap. It's ridiculous. They constantly write this stuff. Can you imagine? Women would never swipe on a guy going, I'm in the process of earning a bunch of money. They'd never swipe on that guy. But women constantly want guys to wait, you know, wait for them while they get into shape. Ma'am, it's so ridiculous. Bruh. She continues. Separated a few years. <laughs> so she's still, so she's still married. All right. She continues. Two grown kids, two grandbabies. Yep. She gave us the single mom and granny starter back. <laughs> oh, hell no. Ma'am. <clears throat> Ma'am. There's no man in the world who, when he's, you know, going to, you know, get, get Randy or something is going to think about grannies. I don't know why women put this in their profile about them being grandmothers. We don't care. They're also your, your grandkids. We, a, a guy around your age doesn't want to be a papa if he doesn't have, you know, maybe he didn't have kids or doesn't have grandkids already. Oh, the only guy who maybe take this deal is about 20 years older than you. Are you swiping on 68 year olds? I bet you're not because she's going to say it right here. Looking for a connection of romance, chemistry and friendship. Oh my God, who the hell cares so boys <clears throat> think about this so here she is a grandmother an overweight grandmother still married going i want romance and chemistry ma'am it's never going to happen it's a bold strategy cotton let's see if it pays off for him but she continues she's got more requirements seeking affectionate considerate talkative confident chivalrous intelligent Emotionally healthy, responsible gentleman and practice clean hygiene. Stop the cap. Ma'am, you're this. That's a huge bitch. You're not going to get all the chemistry. The man has to see you as a prize. He's going to, he's going to give all this romance. And that's the thing. We've talked about this on the channel multiple times. If women want romance and chemistry and all that stuff, they have to inspire it. Fit feminine friendly women have guys who want to be romantic with them. You just don't get it just for showing up and saying, I'm a granny who needs to lose a bunch of weight, ma'am. Don't you see that's kind of delusional? She continues though. She then says what makes her relationship great is friendship, connection, communication, chemistry, consideration, mutual respect. She wants all the tingles still at 48 as a grandmother. She continues a pro and con of dating me. I'm very easy going. I will generally laugh at your jokes since I'm easily amused. Con, I will need knee surgery. So at some activities can be hard at times, ma'am, I'm gonna send you on your way. That's why you would buy a dog and die alone. Ladies, if you, the few ladies who watch the channel, you've got to swipe in your price range. You're probably not going to get the tingles from the guy unless you're highly attractive too. The first lady who's kept herself in amazing shape is going to probably get, she could maybe get a Chad type guy because she's highly beautiful still. So guys are going to be like, oh my God, look at my girl. But ma'am, no one's going to ever see this way. You're never going to get all the chemistry. Also, probably you should stay with your husband. I don't know why you're leaving your husband. Probably that's the only guy who probably, you know, he would care about your grandkids too, ma'am. We don't. Continue. She's 46 in skincare and says about me. Hi, I had to reset my account and lost my connections. Warm regards. Okay, ma'am. I'm interested in the meeting. A man who is happy, established, loyal, loving, fun, moral, and chivalrous. Damn, you can wish for whatever you want. You have to inspire these things. And this is a you know a few episodes back. We've talked about this before. There was an episode where this dating coach was like, "I don't work with older ladies anymore." She's like, "I won't work with anyone in their fifties anymore." And she's near fifty, going, "I still want chivalrous gentlemen to." And of course, I want them. And you see that stuff. I want them to have money and all this crap. And it's just ridiculous. She continues, "I enjoy nights in and out, binge watching TV shows, movies and theater, sunsets, getaways, magic, spas, and shopping." Ma'am, we know exactly what you want. One million dollars. <clears throat> well, sports, dining, champagne, and laughing, ma'am. <laughs> just so ma'am. She's a single mom, almost fifty years old, still going. I want a guy to take me around the world with champagne. You see it, fine dining, and all this crap. The only guy who would do this is a guy in his sixties. Are you swiping on gentlemen in their sixties? My my 
my, my gentlemen who are in up 55 plus, you'd be like, yeah, 46 year old girl, sure. I would take her and I'd wine and dine her, maybe all this crap. A guy around your age who you're swiping on is never gonna take this deal. Single mom, and like, unless you're like model attractive and most women aren't, ma'am. It's just ridiculous. Continue. So she's 47, this is about me. I'm looking to build a relationship with a man of Christian faith. Yep, we're gonna see this theme a whole bunch, but I hope you're ready. I have three children and their father and I have an ample relationship. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Man, we don't care about your kids. And also you lead with this, it just shows you have a bunch of trauma and drama, you have drama that we don't wanna deal with. She continues, I am teach seventh grade English. I am a size 14, so I have some juiciness. I got beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rice, raw, raw, beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, chicken, crack, you name what? Again, she's gonna, let's, her, let's finish the sentence up. But I'm trying to get lo that lowered. COVID weight is real. I tell you, ma'am, why do you want a fully formed man? And you're having requirements to this man. When you don't work out, you're not fit, but you want, you're only swiping on guys. Who, I bet she doesn't swipe on guys who look like her. I bet she doesn't, gentlemen. She still wants successful, highly attractive guys because they only swipe four and a half at the time. They're still only swiping on Chad. It's so ridiculous. You have three kids and you want to... You're still worried about religious Chad. It's like, you're not gonna get all your requirements, ma'am. You should have secured this man in your 20s. It's too late to get all the things you ever wanted. It just, <laughs> they just, just do not get it. Ma'am, if you don't watch it, it's gonna happen to you. This. This episode just is full of some of the most delusional ones too, boys. I mean, a lot of these could have made the, the Delayed Delusions Hall of Fame, to be honest, but uh, we continue. So she's 51, director, private coach, says about me, loves life, laughing, theater, and cooking. Okay, ma'am, hey, okay, I wanna give her some credit. She gets this. She actually said something she could maybe do for a man. <laughs> Fantastic, ma'am, she continues. I am a foodie, organic foods, a movie buff, and a healthy lifestyle. Now, when we've seen the word foodie, often gentlemen, it means that they're very pretentious, so she continues. I love a gentleman with business sense, old school manners, and the finer things in life. Man, we know now what you're talking about. One million dollars. <clears throat> well, their thirst for successful men is keeping these ladies single. See, a lot of these women have made it, sure, they have money, and they think any guy who makes less money than them is settling, and this is a huge problem. I've talked to these ladies myself. They, if, if the guy doesn't make the same amount of money, regardless of how attractive he is, it's not good enough. But I actually, some of it, they just have it. If, the thing is too, they absolutely will hook up with, with, with Chad, but if like, of course, they find out later on, maybe he doesn't have enough money, then they're like, oh, well, he's not good enough for me. Ma'am, you're 51. You're not gonna get it all. You're not gonna maybe get a rich guy still. They all think, guys, and of course, the average man makes 55, 50, 55,000 a year. They all think they can still bag this guy. It's just so unrealistic. She's a single mom and they just don't get it, didn't you? So she's 51, it says about me, mature, positive energy, male friends only. Man, what are you, then why are you on the dating app then? <laughs> she continues, who values a woman's worth? Who is also ready to travel? Man, we know exactly what that means. Here go. Stop. Stop it all. It really is, boys. I mean, almost every single profile of, of women has travel in there. Like, we all know you like to travel. We just know you want to travel on a man's dime. I guarantee you're not paying for those trips, ma'am. She continues. If we match, please able to communicate, talk. Texting is nice, but nothing like hearing a voice and conversing. When on travel status, let's meet up for dinner during my stay. Ma'am, you're basically telling a guy that we have to take you to dinner. That's ridiculous. <laughs> See, they, you just see it, boys. They just, they all want the same romance they could have gotten in their 20s and, you know, when they were at their sexual market peak, but that's not going to happen anymore. Just men aren't going to see you the same way. They're not going to go out of their way to wine and dine you. She continues. She then says non negotiable cigarette smokers, have a cat, non believers, married, gay, or bye. Oh my God, who the hell cares? 
Yes, ma'am, and you still have your ridiculous requirements. Now, I get it, cigarette smoking is gross, but look, really, you're telling me if you met the chatter Tyrone of your dreams and he had a cat, or he maybe wasn't as religious as you, you would not date him. Then it's gonna keep you single, ma'am. It's ridiculous. You're goddamn right. But she's not done, boy. She continues. She then says, quickest way to my heart is honesty, knowing exactly what you want and not afraid to express yourself and be romantic. Ma'am, it's never going to happen. How about new? It's just not gonna happen, ma'am. You're not gonna get all the tingles anymore. 51, it's unrealistic. Men and women age differently, just they don't understand the sexual market. They still think they can get that same guy they're highly attracted to. It's not going to happen. I'm here to tell you, ma'am. <laughs> we continue. So she's 41. And she says, mom of two boys, age 11 and 12. Oh, joy. The single mom starter pack again. Red flag. Stop. She continues. No ex drama looking for the same. Ma'am, how do we know this? How can we possibly know this? Not here for hooking up. We'll swipe left on. I hope you're ready, boys. No pick. Pets. Kids. Ma'am, wait. <laughs> Hold on. So she's allowed to have kids, but you can't, boys. Oh my God. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Sure, continue, ma'am. Have all have more requirements, please. Cars, avatars, six packs, gym, pick with women's profiles, not into long or lots of facial hair, allergic to cats and colognes. Ma'am, I'm gonna send you on your damn way. She just doesn't understand at all where she really is. She's well into here. Into the danger zone. And thinks that's still a guy that she's highly attracted to and she has all these requirements still, even though she's not super hot and you know what below average height and is gonna sit here and, and I can list all this stuff. Ma'am, if a man who was an average dude who maybe didn't make much money and whatever he six pack or not, wanted to take the deal with your two kids. You should consider yourself lucky, but they don't understand. They're being told by the media that it's totally, oh, single moms are great. It's a huge deal for the man. What does he get out of it raising someone else's kids, ma'am? <laughs> they don't get it. Can you? So she's 50 and says, I'm not good at this because I'm probably hitting the X too many times. Need to know someone, need to know someone if I like him. Ma'am, We, I believe you. You're all way too picky. And she's going to prove it right now, boys. Says freedom loving, pure blood. What the hell does pure blood mean, ma'am? What are you? Think? Oh my God. <laughs> she continues. I'm way too young to be this old. Actually identify as 37 since we can now make up our own rules. Oh, ma'am. <laughs> That's poor modern women. <laughs> she continues. Super active, healthy lifestyle, eternal optimist with common sense. Love travel and adventure. Oh, you all do, ma'am. You all want exciting Chad. I, we know exactly what you want at 50. She continues and laughing. I, I like everything sports, music, and outdoors. I know who I am. I, we know who you are too, ma'am. You're a delusional modern woman. <laughs> she continues. Prefer someone 45 to 55, six foot two plus, smart, fun, athletic, and adventurous. Ma'am, we know exactly who you want. <laughs> Yeah, but see, ma'am, that guy does not want you. That's the thing. They all think they're going to get Chad. He's not going to commit to you, ma'am. And see, six foot two plus at 50. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Ma'am, it's never going to happen. I'm here to tell you. Did you? So she's 49 and paraeducator, another job I've never heard of. And says about me. I want a best friend. Someone I can wake up next to, laugh with, eat with, build and grow with. I don't want a relationship. I want a partnership. I want someone who can trust my heart with and know you always be there. Ma'am, you're almost 50 with a, and you're a single mom and you still want all the tingles and all. Look, this sentiment is noble. It's sweet. It is sweet. But you can see, and the reason I included this one is her next picture. And she says it right here. If I could have a superpower, it'd be to find my perfect guy. Ma'am, it's just so unrealistic. You're almost 50. You're not gonna get perfection. This gentleman, let's take a step back. This is the whole point. Women think that they're settling on any average man these days. They really do. They watch 
all this media and they watch all those romantic comedies and think it's gonna they're gonna have all the tingles. They watch Sex in the City, their heroes, you know, be able to party and have hot girl summer through their you know twenties and thirties, and then get to their forties and fifties and go, I can still bag the same guy. You can't, ma'am. You're not gonna get perfection. You're probably not gonna get all the tingles and all the happily after ever after crap. It's just so unrealistic. We continue. So she's 44 and says about me. I'm funny, smart, and kind. Ma'am, how do we know this? I love my career and my days are generally interesting. I'm a Christian, so if you don't believe in God, swipe left. Here we go again. I'm a conservative, so swipe how you voted. Got it, ma'am. I want a lion, not a sheep. God, family, country, P.S. Why do atheists and liberals swipe on me and facepalm and take your sunglasses off? Ma'am, I have this for you. Or here's another idea that's going to be very controversial. You could shut the f up. You just see this, boys. I mean, and also, she thinks she's so conservative. Ma'am, this is not a conservative outfit up here. <laughs> it's, just, it's just not. And it's like, ma'am, really, a guy who is moderate or something, you're saying that are you moderate and, you know, maybe didn't have the same religious, you know, the perfect guy, but he wasn't as religious as you are. You just passed the guy by. I don't even believe you, ma'am. She continues. She says, I'm hoping you believe in God or not. A liberal. Nope. Ma'am. You can have all your requirements you want, but like, why come so negative on here? I mean, just, it's so ridiculous. She continues. What makes a relationship great is communication, honesty, and emotional maturity. Ma'am, you're, look at your picture. You're not that emotionally mature. <laughs> My God. <laughs> yeah, here's the, here's the epitome of emotional maturity with this, like her tongue, you know, like with this picture, it's a grainy picture. Also, she's looking for honesty and she's got a super grainy, blurry picture then she continues she then says of course our second favorite favorite quality in a person kindness and compassion nope ma'am <clears throat> you're in your 40s it's time to change your requirements you're not going to get everything you want plus you're not all that conservative just because you think you're conservative and all this crap and gentlemen let me be clear you give it wherever you want you can have whatever requirements you want it's just going to keep them single. That's my point here. Like she can have this in her head, but her whole profile was basically talking about what she doesn't like. It's this. Oh, you think darkness is your ally? She wants like a kind, compassionate guy, but then all she does is talk about negativity in her whole profile and all this crap. It's just so ridiculous. She continue. So she's 43 and calls herself happy joy and says about me, I'm sweet. Sexy, successful, sophisticated, silly, sassy, spiritual, free, and happy. And she's 5'2 and 175 pounds. That's a huge bitch. Ma'am, we want fit, feminine, friendly women. We don't want to... Let's take a step back. Women constantly talk about being sassy. We've talked about this channel many, many times. Men don't want disagreeable women. And they're all being, you know, again, they're, they see their hero Lizzo acting all sassy and crap in her videos and stuff. And I think that that's how all those women that talk about you know, being single and all this crap, they're all married. And then of course they all submit to their husbands, but these women now get in their idea, out of their, you know, their head that they can still be really argumentative. Who's gonna take this deal, ma'am? You're well past this. It's just so unrealistic to think you're gonna bag the same guy. And you see down here two boys, she has kids and wants more kids at 43, ma'am. That time is over. You're never going to, have anyone who's gonna put more babies in you. How about new? We continue. This is the final one of the day, and boys, <laughs> just, oh my God. All right, so she's 53. It says about me. I'm a God-fearing woman who values family. I, it's very great, ma'am, that of course you have kids, and of course you want a man to value your family. That's what you're saying here. Continues. I love to travel. <laughs> yep, here we go. Here we go. The world and see new places. My laughter is contagious, and if I enjoy conversation, especially if we joke, dancing and singing while worshiping God is a passion of mine. Okay, man. So here's a lady who probably should meet a guy at church or something, because that's, I mean, obviously she's super religious, but then these were her pictures. What the hell are you doing, ma'am? The bitch is crazy. 
it's just, it's just women don't even understand what men want. I, they just don't get it. And this is her final picture. She then says, quickest way to my heart is someone who has the fear of God. Ma'am, I don't know about you. <laughs> I can't, look at her. And also, I can't show her whole face, but she's rolling her eyes in the back of her head like she's having some sort of strange out-of-body experience and thinks she's going to bag a guy still. Ma'am, there's absolutely no way a guy would see your profile and think that <laughs> they would want you. You just got to be kidding me with this stuff. But again, that's the other thing too. Lies over women just forgot what men want. They haven't stayed fit. They're not feminine. They're not very friendly and go like, why can't I find a guy? Because you're not what men want. And that's the thing. These ladies in their 40s and 50s have to change their standards and they need to be what men want if they want a relationship. They can get all the bedroom fun they want, but they can't get a man to commit to them, of course, because they're not what men want. Anyway, I will leave it there for today. Thank you again for watching another episode of Dating Delusions. I really do appreciate all the support and all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining the channel. If you did like the content, please do give it a like. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and do it now. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you on the next episode. Have a great night. Peace.